Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Here are two seemingly unconnected historical figures. On the left is Pythagoras, the famed ancient Greek philosopher and mathematician. On the right is James A. Garfield, the interesting but largely forgotten 20th President of the United States. And between them is over 2,000 years of history. So what do they have in common? Well, besides having some awesome beards, they both discovered unique proofs to the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagoras is credited with the, providing the first proof for this theorem. Garfield is credited as being the only published mathematician who was also elected president of the United States. He published a proof for the Pythagorean theorem, and in this video we're going to walk through his proof. So, let's get started. We begin with an arbitrary right triangle with legs of length A and B and hypotenuse length C. And we duplicate it so that we have two congruent right triangles. We arrange the triangles like so, where the triangles are connected at opposing acute angles and the connected legs form one connected line segment. From here, we add a line segment connecting the remaining two acute angles. By doing so, we have created a trapezoid consisting of three right triangles. By adding the labels back in, there, there is only one step that was not explicitly shown so far, and that is that the central triangle is indeed a right triangle. This is left up to the viewer to prove for themselves. If you're having trouble with this, remember that the interior angles of a triangle always sum up to 180 degrees, and a line is also 180 degrees. We have now constructed everything we need for the proof, and we can now calculate the area of the trapezoid. We'll do this first by summing the individual areas of the triangles. Using the triangle area formula on the original triangle, we get half of A times B. On the larger triangle, we get half of C times C. And we can simplify this to get A times B plus one half of C squared. We can also find the area of the trapezoid using the trapezoid area formula, where Base 1 is A, base 2 is B, and the height of the trapezoid is A plus B. We can FOIL this out and simplify. Since we have two expressions equal to the same quantity, we can set them equal to each other. From here, we can subtract a times B from both sides. We can divide one half from both sides, or equivalently multiply both sides by two. And what we get is A squared plus B squared equals to C squared, otherwise known as the Pythagorean theorem. And that concludes President Garfield's proof. Thank you very much for watching. To see more math content like this, you can subscribe to the Center of Math YouTube page. And also, if you have not voted yet today, please make sure to go out and have your voice heard. Thank you.